This is the original Batman Arkham City on PC. And this is the enhanced version of Batman Arkham City made by me. This is the original Assassin's Creed 2 on PC. And here is the enhanced version of Assassin's Creed 2 made by me. And this, this is Devil May Cry HD Collection, the original one. And this is the enhanced version here. So guys, do you also want to enhance or quote unquote remaster your favorite good old PC games that were released years ago and make it look like from this to this? Well, yeah, you can do this right now without reducing your game's FPS or performance, and specifically, without spending any extra money to get a more enhanced experience in those previous generation games. So let us get started. First of all, you need an open source software called Reshade. Visit the official website and get the normal version by clicking here. You can also choose the add-on version, but I would not recommend that if you're going to use Reshade for the very first time. So yeah, we are going with the normal version for this time. Now, after getting the Reshade software, make sure to keep the file saved in a different location, just for the ease of use. After that, double-click on the Reshade file. And then, Reshade will pop up a window, displaying all your games that you've currently installed on your system. For the time being, I am selecting Batman Arkham Asylum to enhance, and give it a kind of remastered slash return to Arkham version feeling, that we never got on PC. So yeah, make sure that you are selecting the main game only, and not selecting the game's launcher, as in my case, it is BM game, and not BM startup application. So, after selecting the game, click on the next button. Now, select the API the game uses that you're trying to remaster. In our scenario, Batman Arkham Asylum. What? Batman Arkham Asylum. What the f***? <laughs> In our scenario, Batman Arkham Asylum is using DirectX 9, so I am going to keep it at DirectX 9 only as it's already selected, then hit next. Now, it is time. Choose the shaders and effects that you would like to use to enhance your game. For reference, these are the shaders and effects that I generally use in most games. You can also check out the description for the info on each particular set of shaders and effects. After you're done, click next and wait for a few seconds for Reshade to install all those selected effects and shaders for your game. After that, you can either choose to support the devs or directly hit the finish button. Now that's it for the installation part. For your information, all the shaders and effects files goes to a separate Reshade folder in each selected game's installed directory, and also, you can either modify the shaders or uninstall them anytime you want without corrupting any of the game files. So yeah, don't worry about that. Now, let us play Batman Arkham Asylum. And after getting into the game, you will see this reshade menu in the game, which shows the shader's processing progress, and issues with any of the installed shaders if they persist. Like in our case, there are some issues with a few shaders or effects, as mentioned here. So now, get inside the game. After that, press the home key on your keyboard. Then reshade will show you the tutorial that you can go through in red, or just skip it, as you wish. And yeah, we have errors in these two shaders. We're gonna deal with them later. For now, let's see how we can enhance the game first. So, as you can see here guys, we have a lot of shaders and effects to choose from. So, you can either select any shader by your choice, and adjust the intensity of that shader or effect by your personal preference. Now, this is what I usually do first. I search for all the installed bloom effects, and then, I tweak them one by one. Some of you might like more bloomy effects coming out from the light sources in the game and some of you might like lesser bloomy effects as per your comfort level. So yeah, I cannot give a specific set of shaders and their preset values, as this varies upon each game, and as I said just now, it depends on one person's preference to another's. But yeah, there's one thing that I would like to suggest to everyone, and it is the sharpness effects that Reshade has. There are plenty of sharpness effects available here, like the Adaptive Sharpness, AMD CAS FX Sharpness, Filmic and Luma Sharpness, and so on. These sharpness effects are more useful in games that have poor TAA implementations, or if those games look blurry by all means, or if the game is locked up to a certain resolution below your monitor's display, like this Devil May Cry HD collection, where I cannot go beyond 1080p on my 2K display. Now, let us remove those shaders that failed to install. Just hover over the red highlighted shader name, right-click, and select the Go to Directory option. You can see that the shader is already selected in the game's shaders folder, so either press the delete button on your keyboard, or right click and select delete to remove the shader. And yeah, here it is. 
You have to delete all the shaders manually, one by one, that were not installed successfully. Another thing that you should be using is the color grading effect. Well, yes, this makes your game look different visually. You can set the tone of the game as per your liking, from warm to cool colors, from vintage to vibrant colors, and so on. In this way, you can replay your favorite games each time with a new visual tone and graphical enhancements. You can also assign various shortcut keys to disable and enable reshade directly without the press of a button. Now here's the difference guys. This is the normal slash vanilla version of Batman Arkham City. And now, this is the Batman Arkham City enhanced by me. Yeah I know I know, this might look too much bright, overwhelmed with bloom effects, but apart from that, you really can't deny that the game is really looking more beautiful and enhanced now after applying the reshade effects and shaders. Yeah, I know that there's still room for improvement, but getting to the point, you would really want to enjoy your old games again once you start using reshade on those games. Yeah, you might be thinking of this destroying the natural tone of the game's environment, but trust me, if you were adjusting the values correctly as per your preference, then you would not regret playing the game with enhanced visuals. Yeah, sure, this could seem like a lot of workarounds initially, but once you get used to it, you will start loving it. And yeah, enhancing older games using reshade is far, far better than buying so-called modern remasters of old-gen games at a newer game's price point most of the time. Oops, I forgot to mention, you don't need to install anything from any other sources, Everything is already available on the normal version of Reshade, so yeah, it is a very useful tool, and I want to give a huge thanks to all the developers who have worked, and are still working on the Reshade software. And that's it for today my friends. Let me know if you are facing any issue with Reshade, or if you have some other questions to ask me, then please comment them down below. Thank you guys for watching, God bless you all. Bye, and I will see you in another video.